Season. He was like, don't bother that season. Hey, man, look, this the part two, because my other phone has got too much stuff. I'm going to upload a bunch of videos and then clip up some space on the phone. Man. I need to go to T-Mobile. But... Hey, shout out to all the Android users, man, because, you know, y'all iPhone people think y'all better than everybody. You know? But you, when your phone storage run out, you can't put an SD card in and get more storage. Um, I can't even... I, I'm just saying, the yeah, iPhone will be the shit, bro. It don't take better pictures. All right, so so what we're talking about now is, we're talking about, what we talking about? Oh, your homeboy. Your homeboy wasn't going to let that happen to you. Right. How you doubt him? He got killed out here by the woman. About a woman or by a woman? By, about a woman. I be around a dude now that that uh that killed him. Because the, the bad man in my wedding, he homeboy that, that killed Pee Wee. Okay. That's a lot, man. Yeah, it was years ago. I had been around him and I was like, I ain't even know that. And I was like, yeah. Cause my other homeboy that was down there, Ben, uh, mm -hmm. Joseph Griffin, he just died last year. Huh. He uh he died in the county jail. He had got arrested. And I think he had a heart attack or something in there. But he the one that uh but he the one that had told him like, you know, that's who had killed Pee Wee. I'm like, damn, bro. Cause Big Bros out here tripping. By, it, it was some shit by the woman, same way he was in jail fighting by sisters. He got into it with a nigga, but you know, you remember my big Pee Wee Wall, bro. That's that why I started working out. Yeah. The niggas ain't trying to fight you, man. That nigga, that nigga Pee Wee was a monster, bro. He, he got dog call. So, <clears throat> my question <clears throat> is this is that can you be, have you seen an example of somebody being forced into homosexuality? A bunch. Give me an example, and we don't want to say no. Oh, you can use a fake name, but we don't want to put nobody on front street. Or, you know what? I'm sorry. The the initial question was this. Is that why is it important not to out anybody? Because I love being alive. Mm -hmm. And the people that in there that was uh, trim around with boys, these people are kidding you by their secrets. Like, you say one of these dudes' names, and you had your incident. You just yeah. had your incident. You know, you go to call these people names out, or these dudes, they'll kill you before you out or whatnot. Like, it ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, you ain't with my sister or my mama or nothing like that, you know, but I, uh, I've just learned just to keep your mouth shut. Just, if it ain't your business, man, stay out of it, bro. Yeah. Just stay out of it. It's just, <clears throat> just nothing good that can come out of it. And it's, unless it's somebody that's close to me, <clears throat> if my sister or my daughter or one of my nieces come, I'm going to let them know, hey. Like, bro, you need to talk to my sister right now. Cause she gonna know it. She still want to be with you after that. Then she can be then with you. What it is. But she need to know. So. I, me and my family so close is that I could look at if we all in the same room and I look at him and be, and look at her. Uh, hey, you know Kenny did that. What you mean? He out of somebody for real. I said that because you got killed, bro. Look at Kenny. Kenny just said it. What you mean Kenny. he out? Who he out? Of? He was out. And one dude that was in there with us, yeah, he's called Mika. Dude, now you remember Mika? I do. He he ran into Mika on the street. And he but was like, Mika man, I know Mika you. No more. He want Mika no more. He was, he was who he is out. on the street. Yeah, and he asked, he like, man, I know you. And then he just, yeah, you were, that's the dog skin dude. Ain't it? He from Macon. He crook. I'm thinking the one dude was dark skin. He dark, he brown like he by Michael Blake. He got got with weight on. Listen, you going out, you going out right. track. Kenny out of the dude. I said, bro, you could have got who? So with some people be like, man, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he like your name Miko. I said, bro, you could have got killed, man. <laughs> like, bro, you got killed. It's so I not said, funny. Kenny, no. He <laughs> 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 do we got pistols. <laughs> Oh man, then they come all it be you know in the ones that be used to be girls, they got all you know they got the Muslim beards, the big beards and everything now, tattoos in their face, gold. Well, let me ask you this: they used to have an old girl name. <laughs> Look, this is where I be, I be, and I'm, we just had a real conversation. What I know is the dudes that was a lot of dudes that was raping or taping. When they come home, it just seems like they get with the biggest, ugliest woman that. Think that's going there, bro. I don't understand the concept, bro. But like, did you? Is this a guilt fuck? Like, what is going on right here? Like, you ain't probably what they like, bro. Now, I think, I think, my personal opinion, I think that sometimes 
that homosexual act, bro, it'd be like the perception of, cause you like, and what some people don't understand is like, uh, sometimes when there were people who was take, getting taken advantage of at one right. time, and then I guess they got their weight up. So as opposed to being the takee, they wanted to be a, the taker and in their mind, and to the new people that didn't know what was going on, they was kind of like hunter gatherers. Like they was harder than everybody else. Right. Is that a, a, a true connotation? It's just a cycle. The same way we see out here now. Like we don't know. We don't know what uh what these people are guilty of or not. But like you know, we hear like with R. Kelly with his situation now. They saying that he's a, a, a pedophile. Mm -hmm. But then we also find out that he used to be molested too. So with that same cycle in there, you know. I go in here, I get taken advantage of all the people that know me as being a girl, mm -hmm. they gone now. So now I get to be the new guy, I get mind. to be the big, and it just cycles to keep going, bro. The cycles to, the cycles to keep going, so. That's crazy. Yeah. You like a, a hurt people, hurt people. We really like some prison psychologists. To one degree or another, this is, this is like how we got cool, because it was very few people that <clears throat> was not in an act in, in a homosexual act, so. Me, you, and Aaron, we just kind of got like, in, like cool, cool, and like formed like this brotherhood, which was weird because I think I met you through Aaron, or did I meet Aaron through you? Bro, it done been so long, I don't even really, really, I don't even, I just, I don't really remember like not knowing y'all at this point. Except for, because y'all went in juvenile with me. You know, I started out over in juvenile. That junk crazy. It what? wasn't, it, uh, no, I'm just saying how long we've been knowing each other. You know, I really, bro, you stayed down. When I went to the hole and it was time for me to go home, and I went to the hole and I ain't had no food. And you sent me them nutty balls over there. No, I sent another ball. I used to say another ball. Yeah, you sent, but like, I don't know why you locked me down two weeks before I went home. It's supposed to just be a week. Bro, I stayed in the hole for two weeks. I don't know. But you made sure I had food over there the whole time I was over there. Anyway, shout out to Ronnie Miller, Ronnie the Ram, man, for sending your brother some food in the, in the hole at Alto before I went home. That one Alto, you and love Alto, Washington. That was at Washington. We love, we love, you love Maybe Washington. Maybe that one was why. Washington, I don't, I don't think they were doing everybody two weeks. Bro, they locked me down. I got locked I didn't down. leave that. I left Smith. Remember, I had got that escape charge. Hey, remember no, you jumped through the hole uh, when no. they were switching Alto over to a female prison and you jumped through the hole. Uh, <laughs> Please tell me that story. Let's hear that story. It was just women over there. I ain't been around no women. And at this point, I had been six years and we've been around women, bro. We went down to Washington because they had them in the kitchen and the laundry. Right? Uh, they were there with us for two weeks before they shipped them all. I home. never seen no female. Because y'all was over in that other part in the annex. Yeah. They had us on the, on the main compound over there. For the record, why did they shut out to them? Shit, right out of, I think both right with the last straw, bro. Cause it happened right out of the boat right there. Yeah, too many robbers, too many murders, too many rapes. Out, out the boat right there when the rumors started coming that they won't shut it down. I know. Cause then his mama like, when his mama like, uh, politicking and everything. I don't know. Like, I think they had sued him or something, but I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, right. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'll they kill both of them. I'll they kill him now. It was, it was old. The, the rumor was they were finna shut the count down. And so the police were acting out sad. It was like, man, y'all been acting up, man. So they, were, man, what you? you, you you going, going on? The police was like, man, this, yeah, man, they're going to change this to a such, such, such. You know something. who was nice when we leaving? Who? Lieutenant Scott. She ain't never been nice to me, bro. Oh, Lieutenant know, Scott kept so me in the hole. Crazy. Bro. This is going to 90, say. what, 90, 90, 90. You get 14, 90, 90. Bro, this is crazy. 14, oh, boy, <laughs> she'll give me 30 in the hole. I didn't win. 90 stone trench and 90 problems. I didn't, problem I didn't go up and win in front of Lieutenant Scott. She was like, I was like, I got evident. Look, I did not do this. She said, I know you didn't do it, <laughs> <laughs> but I got to give you something. <laughs> bro, I didn't even talk when I went in front of her, because I didn't know that she was doing it. I, I got to give you something. Listen, man, I didn't even talk. <laughs> yeah, I got to give you something. I, I felt like she didn't, I felt like she was worse on me, bro, because I never used to have them bill level charges, them jacket charges. Yeah. I never had the jacket I ain't never had no jacket charges. I used, I used to get a magazine and go in my, go in my cell. You know what, I used, to I used to think it was a She was nicer thing. to the jacket, bro. I see like she Man, I used to go to the hole for like, uh, fair to follow instructions, yeah, subordination, yeah. participate in work stop. Bro, I still got some of my DRs. Cause I used to wow. send my shit home to my dad. He used to be at home when I came home, bro. <laughs> so I was sending it home to my dad. And so my first DR was on Criminal 99. Me and B got to fight. 
See this Because I went down about I was the only nigga in Africa. I had been fighting them before then. Yeah. But then um, my homeboys that came down, a trap came from Macon. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, uh, what's the name from uh, Buki from Columbia. That's what they were telling everybody they were brothers. Okay. So I went in there by myself no more, so I called them out. Criminal, like, hey, let me get my. Because hey, <laughs> every time I fight them niggas, they'll jump me. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you know y'all let them niggas don't be fighting uh, head you up. You know what, man? man. Bro, I, they would not fight head up, bro. No, no, they wouldn't fight head up. You got some, they'll fight head up. Man, but yeah, but thing. for the most part, bro, when you fighting or whatever, and then you winning, they going to jump you. You know, bro. the crazy part is I got, well, I, it was an attempt. Man, I, I got into a fight with Lil Pat. Yo. Well, first I got into a fight with Lemonhead. Let me hit James, cause I'm in basketball mode. I'm in mean, basketball. I remember you told me to hit you real hard. Man, let me hit, hit like a real boxer, man. Yeah. Like we was on the basketball court. <laughs> I had that dunk on. I had that dunk on. So you know, but let me hit be boxing. You know, yeah. I'm just I'm a good swirl. I be, I'm gonna talk hell. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't dunk though. I've been there doing like squats and stuff, so I can get out here man, on the big yard and just go ham. I didn't dunk on him head. Oh, uh, then he started talking. I was like, man, you ain't gonna fuck with Bubba. <laughs> you talking to the third person? I got, then you gotta go into, uh, you talking to the third person? You gotta go into, uh, uh, G's mode. <laughs> he was talking to the third person. I was like, he ain't gonna fuck with Bubba. Oh, man. Man, let me hit, hit me in my mouth, man. Let <laughs> <laughs> me hit, hit me, I ain't gonna do a lot, man. Let me hit, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, I I couldn't even I couldn't see him. It was already dark. Hey, that's like, another thing too. When you be seeing these guys on the uh, on YouTube and they be talking like, you ain't lose now fight. Like, bro, you won all your fights, bro. Then nobody ever. <laughs> I ain't even lie like that. I won some and I lost some. What I learned that night is this is that I am a squirrel. I am I am oh, the man. element of surprise is my best element. Let me hit me by let me hit me in the mouth. You know, uh Officer Hart Hartman. He used to have that rough voice. Uh, was he white? No, he was white. I think his son played in the NFL or something. No, short dude. He was from uh, Athens. But, um, bro, let me hear beat me. He cool, dude. Yeah. He didn't think me get beat up. You know who, who he reminded me of? Who? What's the dude that was in uh, Menace of Society? The dark skin with Kane. That's he reminded me of Kane, yeah, bro. That's what you're talking about. He was real cool, too. Yeah, like, yeah, he, he reminded me of Kane. Yeah. So, bro, like, so when we get into it, we got into it, bro, and. Bro, I ain't even lost that down. I all I do remember is when he hit me. He hit me one or two times. So let me hear it was a box and then I just I was like, you just got to grab. Just grab him. Don't try to swing with him. Just grab so he can stop punching you. Cause if you keep punching, you gonna fall. So I just grab him. You know you gotta win, nigga play basketball all day. So <laughs> nigga win though. <laughs> Bro, they ain't even locked her down. Hard I'm like, yeah, he got you. He got you. Then the city dudes was like, they how I don't know if you remember black, black used to be in the kitchen. They were just like it was like it was like Muhammad Ali had lost the title fight. Cause then Black was in the kitchen. You know, we used to work out with the uh the drain. Black had never said that to me. He was like, You wanna work out? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, they work out. But it was like they were they was they was like trying to build me. I like I went down. I was just like, cause in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna swear shit out. Let me hear. Like, yeah, but y'all used to be fighting each other too though. Atlanta niggas be man, fighting listen. Atlanta. That y'all like the only city that fighting each other. In the chain is Atlanta. Right, they got to happen. But the thing to do is what happened. On the basketball court again. I'm on the basketball, the same basketball court. On the basketball court. And a little Pat. I, me and little Pat on the same team. Man, Pat the same stays all shit on the basketball court. Pat, softball, I done missed a shot. I think he play softball too. Yeah. The big oh. ass show. Hey, Pat. <laughs> Pat, why your shoulder like that? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. Hey, look. <laughs> we playing basketball. You got a big ass show. I <laughs> missed a shot. Little Pat. Hit me with the ball. I was like, oh, so this a this a this a cross, this a run over, cause you thinking it, cause let me hit and jam it. I'm just I'm a free pick now. <laughs> Is I that said, why I be can't go out I every said, day wake up? Don't go out bad. I said, me and you in the same dorm. So we giving them, bro. I beat my pet ass. <laughs> Listen, no disrespect. No disrespect. Cause it was a good fight. But I got a little pet. We downstairs in what's it called room? I got a little pet, I got my knees on little pet shoulders. I'm like this, bro. Uh, and we, I'm cool with all these people now, but two Atlanta dudes uh, grabbed me. Uh, who grabbed me? Oh, man. It's amazing. Corey, <laughs> Corey, Corey grabbed me, and the dude, damn, I can't think of his name, but he got locked up for that Chinese lady. 
who shot at the um on the, on Park Five. There's a Chinese lady. Them folks tried to do a um, a home invasion, and one of the dudes get shot. Anyway, anyway, so they grabbed me. They grabbed me, and he slick get the upper hand. I go holler at BJ. I'm like, listen, I just want to one with shot. I just want to one with little pet. Going now, me and little pet. Cause Pat. just some people when you fight them, there's so many people that that roll with them. They, they, they just, just gonna roll. They gonna roll. roll. Especially if they lose them. Oh, they, they gonna let it. Then he he the weed man. Man, look, me and little Pat tore that win. He went to the top. But we going at it. Boom, boom, boom. And, but I'm going to tell you, for blow for blow, like me and Pat, we were really going at it. But real, Pat really had me messed up because at one point in time, some kind of way he had got up on the toilet and bro, He could have choked me out. If he had just like on some renegade shit, just fell back, bro, he probably would have killed me. Enough. But bro, Pat really a good dude, though. He really a good dude. Pat a good dude. I'm but gonna tell you. the thing about it, being in that environment, you can't be a good dude. You can't. Because, like you said, every day you wake up, don't go out of bed. As soon as people start thinking like you saw, you got to break in your locker. You got to renew your nigga gonna come try to run on you when you come out of the shower. Fuck a fight. You need to do a whole podcast on that. Oh, Listen, man, y'all young dudes that keep getting all this stuff and want to go ahead of this chain game, it's a whole different world. But I don't think you know, bro, when we left house on one of those accounts, I realized, like, it, that place was it's specific for yourself. But that's what I'm saying, like, but then, um, I think that really some scary straight stuff, though. What? The, 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 yeah, because, like, a lot of these young guys, they don't realize how serious it is. And, look, they don't have officers in the prison no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine how bad Alto would be, bro, if it wasn't any, they ain't got no cert teams in here. It ain't no officers or nothing, bro. I Do you know how it. bad that you would be? Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Since the pandemic, bro, like there are no officers in there. I know it, all these videos you see going viral on uh, the yeah, internet, man. all of them are GDC, bro. Bro, you know the whole time we were locked up, I never saw a cell phone. The whole time we were locked up, bro. They had one. In, uh, what's the name? Them had stole one from the officer in seventeen, one time. I and then out there went dead. They gave it back. Now he became a plug. What the name? He was from uh, he was from Athens, bro. Not nah, hunt. No, I'm talking about dude. He was in 17. Oh. He was big. He's an older dude, bro. Not a dude he used to have gold. He used to have, him. Yeah, he had gold. I remember he had. He that, used to, that's how he used to be a. He, he, used, to, he used to hang with. He used to hang with. Uh, he used to hang with. Uh, the older. He used to hang with. Uh, Drake. Drake used to. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. He the one. He had out the. Uh, he gave the dude the phone back, and the dude started bringing the pack in. He did used to have the weed in. Yeah. But I ain't, I went. I just. They had, they had stole his phone because officers ain't supposed to have it. So he couldn't go report it. They used the phone when he went dead. Gave it back. Gave it back. Man, out in the old. And that, 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 that's the, that's the only cell phone I had heard. <laughs> I never saw it. Yeah. I never, boy, you made a phone call while I was locked up, boy. It was on that. Bro, we done had phones. And it cash out different. <laughs> you, should, you should go back to China, man. So you can no, you should, go back to China. you should go back. I don't even want that. So money. you can use your cash. I don't even want that money. <laughs> <laughs> we would have made money in that kitchen. In the culinary. Oh, man. Money. Oh, yeah. Me and my brother, we was in culinary arts. Took culinary arts for, <laughs> <laughs> for four years. Oh, uh, man. We stole so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Take you to jail, bro. You know what you're doing, right? No, it's over with. It's a statue. I've been home almost 20 years. Oh, man. But you oh. be going back into the place. Yeah, what I'm saying is. You know, all the trees. Bro, we used to be stealing from, like, these folks eating prison food. We in here eating lamb. I oh, remember when we stole the ice cream. We stole the ice cream. Boy, we used to be eating good. <laughs> <laughs> man, we had, uh, I wonder what nasty. Remember nasty? They used to be on the yard. The police name. They don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga painted. He cut grass. Everything. He's been on that scale. He's going to white you a DR too, bro. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Like, bro. <laughs> Who that nigga on that name? <laughs> <laughs> that was nasty, right? That was, that was that nigga, nasty. I asked you. Who that nigga on that name? Who is this nigga on this name? <laughs> that was nasty. That was nasty, right there, bro. <laughs> he had cheese. I swear to you, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I forgot about dude, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Forget. I've been thinking I'm gonna see him on the street. I ain't never seen him. You see, I, I thought he had like a, a lot of time, bro. I don't even think he on the street, bro. I don't know. 
<laughs> Who is this nigga on his name? <laughs> I asked you. I know what you But why I gotta take Nick? <laughs> take mouth off this. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, man. Back on topic. Back on topic. Uh, yeah. Man, what's the next one? Uh, what was one of the the most imperative lessons that you learned while you was at Alto? Go to take every trade that they gonna let you take. Whatever Listen, when man. they had that school open, air class, I wanted to take all of them, bro. I, bro. We kind of got stuck in culinary, though. I, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I took I know you barber, barber. Yeah. I took auto body and painting. I didn't, I say woodwork. I took the computer class. When we got I to, uh, what's it called? I took the BCSC. Yeah, with uh, Miss Dennis uh -huh. at uh, Washington. But bro, so I, I started with Miss with Bell. Before Miss, before Miss Dennis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Dennis still down there too. I would like to go down. I would like to go down there and talk. Though, I had talked to her a couple of years ago. It was a long time ago though. She been there a long time, bro. Yeah, that's a good lady. That's a good. It's a few. It's a few good people that actually. Oh, Miss Slayer. In there that help. Ms. Susan Slayer. Slayer. Susan Slayer. Susan Slayer. It's like, <clears throat> bro, she like our Jewish mama at this point. Yeah, Miss Slayer, Slayer really looked out for. Miss Miss Slayer, like, she she worked when I got locked up for dirty urine. So, <laughs> I was in culinary. I'm like the only person in there that didn't smoke weed. All the rest of this, man. I went to the whole <laughs> for cul I, I was in, we were in culinary arts. I think we might have been teachers at So, I get the dirty urine. Selling oregano out culinary. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you how I get yeah, caught man. up. I done got caught up because somebody <laughs> seen me come from visitation. And when I go to visitation, I go straight to the bathroom. They was like, man, sell us out. I said, yeah, I would. You ain't got no weed. No, I ain't got no weed. What you talking about? Get piss test two days later. Cook, burn it on fire. I go to the hole. They love me and cook chef too. He like, oh, well. I think, you think he's still alive, bro? I don't know. But they say he got fired when the women got there because he got yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll bring the makeup. They say he'll bring the makeup. <laughs> two and free game. <laughs> He'll bring the makeup and shit, get head. Oh. But I can't even blame him, though. I ain't gonna talk about it. I can't even blame him. <laughs> listen, so man. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm mad. This man that went to the search team told, look, we have seasonings that are shipped in that could, uh, I think it's called poppy or something, that would alter a drug test. Mm -hmm. Like, they was really going to bet for him. And then I'm like, I'm in the whole Susan Slayer and Chef too, and they like, Go piss him again. He's not, he can't be dirty. Cause they come in there asking you. I was like, no, I ain't dirty. I ain't let smoke. But then they came back and pissed his me again. It was still dirty. The cup melted. It, it was on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I blew the cup off the cup. The cup. The cup I blew wanna, I wanna feel the uh, what was it? The the saffron? It was yellow. It was higher than weed out. If it was in, he'd bring it, it'd be in the tin can. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it was like yellow, it'll be like a reddish. You'll put it in. It was called saffron. Oh, saffron so is that what we use for the yeast? No, nah, bro, we didn't use it all the time because it was really expensive. I forgot what we put it in. It was called saffron. I don't know. I can Google it, though. Yeah, man, but okay, so culinary arts, but also Susan Schlegel about the book club. Using the book club. Right. And debate right. club. That was that was uh Dr. Dr. Panetta Panetta and, from uh, UGA. UGA. Shout out to Dr. Edward Panetta. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to Dr. Panetta, man. Bringing all. This is what I'm gonna say about Dr. Panetta. Panetta. This is how he called. Like this is like one of the strongest elements that I was left with, Dr. Panetta. When he came in, he was just like, well, the public speaking and we did. Yeah, the public, public speaking. I use it to this day, bro. But right when he came in, he was like, okay, so let's take. We're gonna argue on. We're gonna debate on the college level. So whatever their schedule was, that's what we was debating. So then. I think it might have been like something along the lines of capital punishment or um, abortion. So he'll allow you to argue what you believe in. So you, I might argue the affirmative for um, for uh, capital punishment and win in debate. Then he'll come back two weeks later. So well, you argued the affirmative. Now you can argue the negative. So that just <clears throat> caused me to challenge everything that I believed in. And really like dive into the thought process, but it taught me that truth is in the the will of the person that's speaking. Like, um, 
I can say anything, bro. I can convince you that that that's what's going on. Then that's one thing I on. learned from the debate was that with the you can use statistics to make any anything. point. <laughs> 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 use statistics <laughs> to prove any point. And like what I did, like about it, like you said, we'll have to do the affirmative now, and then next time you do the mm -hmm. you, you do the negative. But when you're preparing your affirmative argument, then you're also doing a negative anyway because I'm trying to, like, I'm finna go again B. I know he's gonna be coming at me with this. They're really trying to get her ready to be like lawyers. I think all the real lawyers, you have, they go through games to, to be on. Because, like, when you're preparing your defense, you like, okay, well, what are the prosecutor gonna come with? Because when they come with this, we're gonna need to be able to counter. Good. And that's how you start winning your debate. Yep. But I was thinking about one of the uh, things you had did one time about, uh, and like we were, we were really getting on your ass about it. Uh, what? You said something about you should have a license for parenting. <laughs> the older I get, the more it makes sense, bro. Like you might have been ahead of your time. You remember that you uh, all yeah, yeah, you yeah. came so, out and you were talking about I you are the title was, but you, uh, but you were saying that you should you think that people should have a license to, to parent because parent, you have to have a license to drive a car, a license to. Uh, and like we clowned you, plan. we clowned you on when you did it. But yeah, like, bro, yeah. you know what? You might have been on to something because, like, man, the kids. You really do need a license. Man, some of these people don't need to have no children, bro. For real, for real. Like, uh, you need uh, to be uh, screaming. A human life is way more important than a car, and you got to have a license to operate a car. Why well, wouldn't you have to have a license to raise a child? Because having a license to get a car is a is a man made law. Having, having the right to have children. All is laws are a man made. Stay no, but listen to what I'm telling you. But God, <laughs> God say that you can have. God say that they got a thing called a cycle, a menstruation. When they start menstruating, mm -hmm. God say you can have a baby. You're, so no license is going to supersede God, bro. The creator already got a program. So the law made sense for a driver. And actually, bro, I was 13 when I started driving. I ain't had no license. You don't need a license to drive a car. You need a license to obey the law. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so you could get a license. But I, it was funny as hell though when you did though, but it made sense. Everybody, some of you up. I was ahead of my time, man. That's what's going on. I shouldn't even say that stupid shit. I'm ahead of my time. Um, um, next topic. The next topic is this. So, you've been home for how long? Almost 15 years, my boy. What date did you May, get on? I got out May 16th, 09. Is there a part of you? that was consistent in chain game or did you have a particular drive in chain game that you wish that you still had? Bro, I was just talking to my wife. I love my ring and uh, but I really am That's married. A I you just got married, married, man. You ain't even give me no Congratulations. Hey. Hey. We're talking about it on air. On air. On what? Talk about what? I didn't give you what? You ain't giving no no shout out, man. You this man was just in my wedding last month. If you look on my page, even if you look on oh, this, yeah, you this, this at, while I was at the wedding, I was remixing stuff and putting stuff before I left Savannah. But congratulations to my brother. He got married. So, really, yeah. I'm the only one. I'm the last one left. So, when are we doing? I'm ready for the bachelor party. Man, you missed the bachelor party. I did miss the bachelor party. And Aaron missed the bachelor party. It's a whole nother story what Aaron <laughs> missed. It's a whole nother <laughs> story. But stay on topic, bro. So No, but I, I would tell her, I um. Uh, when I came home, bro, because I came home, you know, you don't have nothing when you come home. Mm -hmm. I had some money for selling phones before I came home. But overall, you know, I started selling phones at Smith before I came so home. So you did come across cell phones while you was locked up? Yeah, you somebody else. So oh. I was there, remember, I didn't get out three years off. You left in six. Oh, six, yeah. Yeah, I left in 2009. So, so I got introduced to cell phone at Smith. My last two years I spent on the phone. So you was hustling? Yeah. Like, but, hustling, hustling, like... What they were like, doing for them. I, I had to weasel my way into the phone, man. Because I really don't want them. Because they may still be using this method to get stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you it was built for my job. I was explaining to you all. Okay. About, yeah. But then I don't, I, I don't want They say about the, the warden that Smith got locked up for. Um, that's a whole other ball game, too. Okay, so the yeah. lesson that you learned. <clears throat> no, no, I was more focused, bro. That's you what know, I was thinking. Like about. I said, when I was in prison, because I was hungry. And then at a certain point, you start getting established and you kind of get complacent. Yeah. I, you know, I really ain't complacent, but what happened, I have so much stuff going on in my life now. And then, you know, that just transitioned <clears> into <throat> manhood. 
that you start putting others before yourself. And so before me going to the gym and working out, you think going to bed early and getting rest yeah. or whatever not, I'm taking care of stuff. And so as a result, I don't gain weight, you know, damn uh, <clears throat> I don't have as much energy. Then I hurt my back. You know, I'm yeah, yeah, motorcycle, yeah, motorcycle, motorcycle yeah. fights and football and Where my is body your motorcycle? motorcycle. My body is in Savannah. I also, I want to give a shout out to my brother because he brought the uh, K Book. You hear K Book? We used to call him the Black Man. And he used to always be selling stuff. But I remember we was in Atlanta and we was talking about working on the ice cream trucks. And his whole mindset was, was like, I'm not going to work on the ice cream truck. I'm going to buy an ice cream truck. So then me and Adam was like, man, this nigga. Buy an ice cream truck. So we, <laughs> we start buying an ice cream truck. I, when I went to Atlanta Tech, bro, they gave my first my uh, financial aid check. Shout out to Aaron and shout out to Jonah. Because Jonah did something to me. Well, she helped me out with my financial aid, bro. Them folks gave me more money than I had legally seen in my life. When they gave me the money, I started buying moonwalks. I was like, I'm buying me an ice cream truck. And that's the first ice cream truck I bought. Man, my ice cream truck broke down because I'm not showing y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but I sold out because you know what? My price was too low for Atlanta. They bought all yeah. oh, they cleaned my truck out. I was like, damn. Hey, man, ice cream runs for a lot of women on the ice cream truck, too. Hey, man, look. I ain't running to nobody. On ice cream <laughs> <truck>. <laughs> I was like, because when I first came home, I got on the ice cream truck and started riding around my old neighborhood. Uh, and I was like, I remember you from East Lake Elementary, shop. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, you still on me, say, hey. Um, <laughs> predator. I, you know it's the Me Too now. Hey, they about the Me Too. This is all. The, I'm going to the comic club tomorrow night too. Y'all be real loose on you too. Y'all gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah, we are gonna be here tomorrow. I'm trying to get all the stuff out of here. Okay, so complacent. Well, not you didn't call it complacency. You just say you put other people. Yeah, but like because uh, for, like I was saying, for me, I, I was focused because you know you don't have nothing. Then I'm trying to uh. <clears throat> Cause my goal was to stay in Macon for a year, and then I was gonna move to California. I always want, I wanted to go. You have more children. Yeah, but see, I got to Macon, and then I started making that money, bro. And like I couldn't leave. It. The money was so good to Macon. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little bit longer. Then I end up falling in love, and you got a family and children, and your life just it changed change. direction because you have other. You yeah. start putting other people before yourself. Sure. Cause like, bro, if I was selfish, bro, I'd be up. Yeah, like yeah, if I didn't, if yeah, I wasn't yeah, taking yeah, care of yeah, nobody yeah, or worried yeah, about yeah. nobody, bro, I would be yeah, home in the bar. Cause it's a lot of stuff that I'm willing to do yeah, when I'm by myself. Yeah, but like because, but I, but I can't do it now because you're like you know what I got this, yeah, I got yeah. that this person waiting on me or, or whatever not. So yeah. So it's a lot of plans that people come up with while they in chain man. And when they come, it's just like saying like, oh, if I ever hit the lottery, I'm gonna do this. You really don't really know until you actually hit the lottery, cause. When I came, I was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to Atlanta Technical School, I mean college, and then I'm going to graduate from there, and I'm going to go to Morehouse. Bro, I want to go to Morehouse so bad, bro. Why is Jonah calling Oh. Uh, that's her camera. Oh. Your camera is on. Yeah, her camera's not on. Oh, yeah. I can't see her, though. Hello? That must be accident. It must have been. I don't know why she would call FaceTime. Anyway. So, um. So, um. <clears throat> sorry for the interruption, y'all. Okay, yeah, she, it was accident. Okay, so, um. Yeah, I was like, man, I want to go tomorrow, but I had went to the campus, had to visit the campus, like everything. I was like, man, I don't know what movie I was watching. Oh, Denzel Washington, The Great Debaters. I didn't watch that. What? I ain't seen how to watch it, bro. What? I had watched it, bro. What? I mean, what's you on the What? Man, that's the best movie in the world, bro. There's a line in the movie, The Great Debaters. She said, time for justice is always always right now oh. but yeah i wanted to go to more house but then when i went to atlanta tech and i got that financial aid check and i didn't go buy no clothes i just started buying i just started buying the moonwalk and the moonwalk started and then one ice cream truck turned to two ice cream trucks then i was finishing up my book 
So I'm trying to hustle that. Then I start I still have poems in mind, bro. Hey, man, it's time, man. It's crazy because I got him to write his first book. Those are facts. And those are facts. I ain't even poems in mind. <laughs> those are facts. Uh, and I got yeah. one in there. Bro, you know what? Like, I could write so many books now, though. Just about, like, since being on this side of it, bro. I just, you know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about, like, <clears throat> now that I go to therapy, I think that I think that a lot of people, well, I think a lot of people go to therapy anyways, but when when you come home, man, I think you, like, traumatized. My bad, the kids FaceTime me. Okay. Um, I think that you, bro, you've been through so much trauma. I, it should be, like, mandatory that you go to therapy of some kind of way because the halfway house, that ain't, that's not it, bro, but you're dealing with all this, this trauma and then you're just coming back out into society. And it really, it's just a matter of time for for something to erupt. Thus, thus the um the high rate of recidivism in the state of Georgia, like the rate at which people go back, not just in the state of Georgia, but in these United States, because people are not staying out. It was like they get. I think that recidivism is because I think the high rate of recidivism is is, is, is mainly because. I think a lot of guys get out and forget about how bad it is there. I don't think I ever got institutionalized and I stayed in contact. And one, I had a supportive family. So I didn't, I didn't ever just. That's real important, bro. That's really important. That's really important, important, bro. You got to you ask. I got to have so Shout out to my dad and my mom. I don't. I, I think about prison every day, bro. And that's why I don't go back. And then, like, all of these videos that come up on my timeline on Facebook. And yeah, people call me every day for cash out. And what's going on, bro? And, and, I, and I just be like, damn. Because yeah, I'll be thinking. So when we start bitching about paying $4 for gas, I get it. As soon as I'm like, man, fuck you, man. I got caught on the train yeah, mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then somebody called me be like, man, what's going on? I'm like, shh. Like, you know it. It ain't even that bad. It ain't even that bad. Man, this is, this like, you know it. It ain't even that bad. Because when Dion called me. I can't bitch the deal on the body. Nothing. How you supposed to tell me? Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. man, you it's know, like. my other, <laughs> my my other girlfriend just dumped me. Like, nigga, I've been jacking off for a while. Bro, been out since '93. He was 17 when he was He been out since '90. Look at look at DQ. DQ DQ hit you on day. DQ just hit me on the day. Shout out to DQ, bro. Bro, DQ, got, I am broke. I don't, I don't have no money. money. I got no money, man. <laughs> That you, money you be sending me you know, on Instagram, that is not my money. That, that is, is fake money. That is prop money. <laughs> what do you say? That is prop money. That is prop money. That is prop money. money. Look, bro. The QB. 551. <laughs> no, 458. If you the tell Q. me, hey, can you please? <laughs> this look, today, bro. That's just a day. You, <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to get paid on Friday at 1159. He called him. Hey, bro. hey, man. Hey, what's going on with you? But Rock. DQ been there since 90, like 95, 94, because he got, I think, bro got three life sentences. I thought it was two life sentences for mm -hmm. the he lady. Got, he got the, the lady, the baby. Yeah, she was pregnant. He got the fetus side, the lady, and the armed robber. And then I think they gave him like five for the gun. He got a life for the robbery, a life for the lady that died, a life for her baby, because she was pregnant, and, and then the, the gun. And he was... 14, 15 or something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably have to pay these bills, man. And I be, bro, I be having nightmares sometimes. It made me put my seatbelt on, bro. I don't want no trouble with the police. I'm scared of the police, man. I ain't scared of them. I just try to keep avoid confrontation with them because I damn, uh, uh, one, one, and that's why I think my trauma come in it. What you mean? Because, like, when I get around cops, I start remembering. You real confrontation with the police. I'm not confrontation. I just don't no, be back. No, no. I remember, I'm back and I remember down, you and uh, uh, what's it called? We're about to jump on the police one day, and I, it was close for me to go home. You and uh, uh, we be I be talking to him now, man. We're talking quadro, quadro. I was about to jump on the police. No, that's why we love. That's why we got shit from from after you left. We got to fight with the search team. Well, he start. Well, he well he started. But now it was about milk, bro. They kept giving us spoiled milk, and then bro just he just snapped. And then and you they try to, hey, bro. What I'm if I if, if, if some dude if, if some dudes trying to jump on you, yeah, you know I ain't finna let no dude. Why is it, why do the rule change with the police? Because you can get extra time. But I do. Understand. But at the same I'm, time, I'm, it's just like you bro, it's you your brother. You, you down. Yeah. And that's why you have a responsibility not, not only to yourself, you. 
Don't but put to the me people, in those situations. Don't put me in those situations. Tell like, bro, you know when you go, I, I gotta, go. I gotta go with you. So you need to make sure that if we fight, and if I'm finna die, something. it's for something. Yeah. Don't just call me because. Don't call me because oh these dudes trying to kill me. What are they trying to keep for? What you? Doing? I just raised his dog. Man, bro, don't call me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't call me. <laughs> hey, you know, but yeah, but what it was like they were they were they were they were trying to jump on. Him. But we ain't no getting out of it. Miss 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 Dennis. Bro, Dennis. I heard. I was like, man. Bro, he was choking that. He was sitting on the car. <laughs> he was sitting on the choking my bro. And then I was, like, I was like, man, this dude was purple. He was purple. Cause they are, uh, and they know they be like, don't put no hands on a woman. But if you're a woman and you're in the prison and you're in the war, women don't need to be in war. If you come in and put, because I had to slam the lady out, and then I had to punch the other police off to get to him. And by the time I got to Car Joe, he's sitting on the dude's chest, choking him out like that, bro. And it was so bad that, because I'm like, bro, he gone, bro. Just let him go. Let him go. <laughs> when, when, when he came to, I'm in the warden's office, and they, because, you know, they're free world charges for assaulting on the officer. So, up, up in the warden's office, he come in there, bro. He said, he was helping me. <laughs> then what the police said. Oh, he, he said, no, he was helping me. <laughs> oh, because the police said. Bro, he was so fucked up. He he when Quad Joe was choking my, he remembered me telling Quad Joe. That's all he said. <laughs> He was like, he saved me, so I was in the whole quad Joe <laughs> mad. He like, bro, that was my fight. You finna go home. I don't know why you got in yeah, there. He, 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 he mad at me. Yeah, he he was home, home, right here. And then I like, man, you ain't gonna believe what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> he like, that's a story. We're gonna yeah. roll with that. And that's you know what? I yeah, that quad Joe a stand-up dude, man. Get what? That's a that's a topic that's going around now. What? With the snitching thing. What you mean? So like like the young thug and the 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 like is if if thugger told told gunner to do or all the rest of them guys to do that so they can go ahead and get out. It don't make sense for everybody to go down, bro. About about this shit. Yeah. So but, <clears throat> but what I'm saying is when this stuff is going on, because somebody might say, oh that's snitching. Somebody might say that's snitching, bro. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is because like the officer was like he was saving me. Then Quad Joe like, bro, roll with that. Tell them. That you was trying to help the officer or whatever. Not. That's why I didn't get a free world charge. Then Miss Dennis was up there. Did he so, get a free world charge? No. They just, then they shipped up both the He left a week before me, and then a week they later, they, they still put up right back at the same camp together, bro. But we were, was <laughs> Quadro at Alto with him? He went at Alto. He came down. He came down. He came down to Washington with him. But we locked in in Washington, bro. Yeah. And then when that stuff happening, like he 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 still locked in now. But yeah, what I'm saying yeah. though, like they're like, well, bro, if I die. And you can put the crime on me, bro. I'm on your YouTube crime. channel right now, bro. <laughs> please tell them. Now, nah, unless it's something that gonna get my daughter killed. Yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but like, ain't breaking no law. Yeah, yeah but like, bro, on. if we do a crime together and I die, tell them, put it all on me, bro. You have bro, you my permission. What, what I remember, I remember <laughs> when we did when they when we left Alto, they thought everybody from Alto was gay. Right. So when it was time to go, when I that was a running, good assumption, though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good assumption. But I'm saying, it's a lady to comment. Just swear to God, anybody who did five years is gay, bro. Yeah, but like, but it's a, but so if you had to do a, you gamble, we don't pay parlays, right? If you had to make parlays. a wager for people, a hundred guys came out of Alto. So <laughs> yeah, whether they do gay or not gay. I'm gonna bet my money on the gay dude. I'm gonna bet my money on the gay dude. I'm gonna hit a recession, but I'm gonna bet. Hey, he out, of, out of 100, it probably was 85. Bro, I'm saying this. <laughs> look, people that I'm Maybe cool 90, with, bro. people that I'm cool with, like, no, nah, man, I was at another camp and you yeah, always exaggerate. Bro, hey, man, that's not you were the Alto, man. I'm I, trying to tell you. I was you there and I was at other camps. Alto that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. It was look, a culture, bro. When, bro, that was a culture. We went to Washington. And I seen we came from Rick Hall, you know Rick Hall, everybody hit the shower. But in time, I, I'm paying attention one day, and an alto baby coming there, and everybody get out of the shower. <laughs> Every, also, but my, also, bro, you you got what something everybody used to say to you when you went there. 
Because you always got the ugly ass mug when you're I can't help how I look. Yeah, but you be looking mad and shit all the time. So people that don't know you, people that don't know you, think that they um. You know, I gotta be friendly because I sell shit to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be cool with the mess. I gotta go with the white people. Man, I sell shit. I'm mad. I'm you know, you know, spent all my twenties in here. So I speak my mind. I play soccer man. with the mess. I'm on. I go to the Dungeons and Dragons crew. They buy shit. I go to everybody. So yeah, you. <laughs> Yeah, but you always what's the matter with your brother? He I he just he just like that. Bro, you gotta um leave him You got you got you got to do like that, but <laughs> stay safe. But bro, when I realized that I ain't had to wait on no shower, but I was uh <laughs> I was uh <laughs> So you say when you go to the shower everybody They just clear out and be like, Why am I wearing like New York City? New York City then you just hear see a hate a hate they just like, yeah, all them Al told you was gay. Hey man, I try hey. I ain't gay, man. I ain't. You where you came from? Hey, I told you. <laughs> you just might as well be gay. <laughs> you just might as well. So I was like, hey, man, it wasn't a deal. And then, like, women on the street. I done had some women on the street be like, man, how much time you did? Hey, somebody on the YouTube channel want to buy their picture. Or, or I think it's like originally 450. They can get it for 200. We got to get rid of all this stuff out of here. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to put that in the, in the comments. <laughs> I'll be sure to That's a nice picture, though. I think, no, you know what? We agreed. I'm going to put this in my daughter's room. We ain't gonna sell this one. I'm gonna put that in my video. That's married talk. <laughs> it's always we and I. See, our. you need to get your wife. Listen, son. Listen to him. He that find of the wife. Fine. You know, this is this why I be realizing about myself. <laughs> I'm, I don't wanna sound institutionalized, bro, but I don't even like people spending night at my house, man. You know, I've been single a long time too, so I I, I comprehend bro, it. You know, I get it. And, and I just I like, bro, I get anxiety. Like I just feel like so much pressure on me, man. That I just like I, my body will start itching, man. I shut down. And then unless, I unless, and I ain't gonna call no names out. But it unless always it's always a woman that damn you just comfortable just being that's with true. her. And then, that's true. That's the only woman that's I can true. marry that can girlfriend that I can be with. That's true. If I'm not okay being around you all day long, yeah, then you can't be my woman. There is that, that it, but there's plenty. There's plenty of women that I've been with. Not like I've been a whole lot now. I ain't got no more like this guy got real. But no, that, if you be that, with that, him, as soon as you're done, you just like man. I'm trying to figure out how, how many times you hit me. Like bro, text me. <laughs> 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 bro, text me. Don't put this on him, bro. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> bro, I, I, but y'all just sent the back call. I, hey, bro, call me like you need. Hey, I know like, you got a group text with him and my other brother. Finally hit the group text. The inter- boy, nobody is responding. I'm bro, like, man, y'all are tripping. Bro, I was in a group trip with DC. I had it was, it was four women in the car when you hit me in DC really? last summer. Yeah, I was up with that on the trip. Man, he hit me like, I said, they were like, oh, this is that bullshit. They was in the car. I said, this is my brother. Don't <laughs> 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 so say you hey, mean. Man, me. I'm like, oh, why are you ain't saying that? I got to go in the bathroom call me. Man, what y'all niggas doing, man? Go get your yeah. butt. <laughs> but there is that one. And you just cool with her being out. Like, you ain't got to go. You want to you know, stay for two no days, pressure. three days, or whatever. You ain't never leave. It don't be no pressure. But so, okay, let me ask you this then. Why? What made you not, not go in and just go and walk that one out then? Because it'd be like, here, here, here's mine. I don't want to get married one time, bro. Right. So then also from a therapeutic perspective, like I think that before you can be happy, truly, effectively happy, like for a lifetime with somebody else, you got to be okay with yourself. And if I'm being honest, bro, I used to lie to myself a whole lot. I'm talking about I used to tell myself stupid lies. But I had lied to myself so long, bro, I started believing certain things. Like, stuff that I was wrong about, I would say I wasn't wrong about it. And then it wasn't until, bro, I started going. When I started going to therapy and we started peeling back the things, and this lady just started. She wasn't telling me stuff about myself, but she was helping me understand. When she told me, she was like, look up in your cabinet. And, bro, I like, had 15 things of peanut butter up there. I'm like, why the fuck I got some? <laughs> bro, I got on you by that Kool-Aid shit when I came home. Bro, I, this is the only like, dude that still make Kool-Aid that I know. Bro, I got Kool-Aid at the house. Bro, I don't know nobody that make Kool-Aid. Bro, I got soups in my book bag. Well, I eat a soup because I don't want to cook. But I'm just saying, like, bro, you be having them Kool-Aid and that. I like Kool-Aid. Yeah, but you shouldn't. Man, I like Kool-Aid. Yeah, I was yeah. drinking Kool-Aid before I went to change. I was drinking Kool-Aid too now. But I'm just saying I like it, but it's something. You something. all making Bombay's? No, nah, I ain't never made no Bombay since I've been. I drink coffee. 
And I I'll make a pipe. Send me to the bathroom. I'll make a pipe. Yeah. I'll make a pipe, man. Who? Confession, full transparency. Yeah. I made a pipe last week. <laughs> uh, yeah. I probably make one last week. I, I made one, one, one last week. I made one. I mean, it because I look, I, I already know, like, if I got two suits and a cheese cracker, bro, this gonna fill you up. You drink you some water, do you buy 50 push ups? You Why you gotta do push ups? Not that it's too much. But you gotta do push ups while you eat soup, bro. Bro, listen, man, you I'm 46 of... years old, so I, have, I got the pull up bar at the house, so whenever I eat something, I know that it's mildly unhealthy, but I try to do some push ups, I run in place, I do some squats, I try to do something, because people might even be having heart attacks, bro. I don't wanna die like that. Yeah, my homeboy, he just, they wouldn't put a stand in for him today, my homeboy. Yeah, you know, I don't want, I just, you know, you gotta be, I'm still working on myself. So back to the, you know, being happy, like, I went to my brother way, man. It was awesome, bro. I really enjoyed myself, man. It was, it was like. Go to the TikTok. Go to the TikTok. Cause I, didn't I tag you on the TikTok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to but it's, uh, you'll see some of it on my page. I put the, uh, I threw the body out of fetchery. Hey, I but mean, that was, a, that's what, Broadway. I don't that play no plan. And well, nah, we don't play. Y'all ain't play, didn't play no ratchet songs. We ain't do no ratchet. No. Cause there was a time at the wedding where uh, sex red would have been so appropriate. Right. When her sisters had gathered around her, that was and they was doing AKA. In my mind, I was like, "Ski, <laughs> I wonder why the AKAs ain't no. Ain't got about that. Cause they say ski weed. Oh, ski red, ski, ski weed. I just Something listened like that. to that song for the first time. Like, like you know, I'm kind of like an AKA at this point. Um, Cause they had to circle around me. I was in the middle of the circle. One thing I do know is that when it comes to affiliations, they don't play around. Okay, well, I'm. I can't be on. I'm married. You're to just it. married to it, bro. I'm no, married to not it. Disrespecting <laughs> folks like that. Man, I can't mean. identify as an AK. No saucy. Hey, so this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video, and then we're gonna start another video. So you got the part one. This the part two, and then we gonna come back like we ain't never had these discussion, and we are gonna talk about something else. The best day. The day. The best day. Today is the best day of my life because tomorrow's not promised. And my new tagline is, let the Lord use you, Sean. Because I'm a vessel. I'm a vessel. I'm an instrument of the Lord. Peace out. I'm